previously on Hoosier State Fishing. Oh my God, dude. I just caught the biggest smallmouth of my life. Oh yeah, yep. Got him. Got him. That's a freaking awesome, dude. <laughs> That's a tank of a fish. Look at that fish. <laughs> God, dude. I would have never guessed that fish was that freaking big. Oh my God. Dude, oh my God. Look at the size of that fish. Do that again, can't you? 20 and a half. Dude, <laughs> that thing's wild. Freaking wild, dude. Guys, there is a fish right here in front of me. And I cannot be passing these fish up, man. Where'd the fish go? I think he left. No, it's not. It's still there. I'm not going to be able to catch this fish. Still there. Off of his nest a little bit. I got to find a different color. I got to find something different color. I'm going to try a white fluke on this Ned Brig jig. We're going to find out if this fish is still here. It is still there, and it's it's pretty big. It's a pretty big fish. Got her! I 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 got her! No! No! Get him! Oh my God! Oh my! Oh my god. Dude. That is a freaking tank. That is a tank. That is a freaking monster fish. I'm gonna let it revive a little bit. I'm gonna get my camera set up so I can take some pictures of this fish. Alright guys, let's put her back on her bed. That's a 20 inch fish right there. I've got her by the tail. I'm gonna get into some reviver here a little bit. Okay, there. <sighs> She kicked off. No words. I have no words other than this is the most incredible smallmouth fishery I have ever and may ever experience in my life. River smallmouth. These are river smallmouth. I'm not using electronics. I'm not freaking out here on a lake. We're just out here looking for fish on the Mississippi River. Let's go find some more guys. Got her. Got her. Got her. Stay off my net. Stay off my freaking anchor. Oh my God. Yeah, I know, you're mad. I know. Get in my net. Oh my God. Good God. Let's see what she measures, guys. Let's see what this one measures. It's gonna go 18 and a quarter. Let's let her go real quick. There's a look at her. Look at the size of that fish. Man. Right back to her freaking nest too. So Chris just had a giant pike break his fly off. It's kind of dumb, but I figured maybe I might as well give it a shot. How about it? Oh my God. Please don't break me off. He's not that big, but he's pretty big. I'm gonna look. Let's see if Chris's flies in his mouth. Oh, I don't want to handle this thing. I really don't. Slimy bastards. Oh man. Well, there's one. Let's see if we can get this one out. Where are you hooked there, bud? I just bit my hook. No doubt I just bit my hook. And he completely broke my hook off. Broke the feathers off and bent my, that's nice. What a, what a real piece of work. Why did I stop for this fish? Why? Why would I even want to do this? Well, there's my lure. My lure's F. A fish on a bed right here. Very, very hard to see. And he just swam off. Okay, he swam off again, but he's back over there in that area. Did I really just get snagged? Got it off. Got him. Oh. oh my god. Five 
finally. Holy sh! Oh my gosh! Unbelievable! 19 inches on the button. Right, oh yeah. Catch board. Let's make it metal. And then a month after you buy it, let's make a carbonate one that doesn't sink. All right. I'm gonna get a couple more pictures with this little big girl. All right, guys. One more good look at her. Just a fat 19 inch smallmouth back to her bed. There she goes, right back to it. Oh man. Okay guys, lots of bed action here. Lots of bed action. We've got a bed here. We've got a bed there. We've got a bed there. I'm pretty sure there's some beds up here. We've got a bed there. Um, I basically floated into bed Mecca. So. We're gonna go ahead and just cast on over here. Hopefully not in the tree. I saw that fish uh, took off. He saw me and took off. So what really kind of sucks is that I cannot see this bait. So I'm gonna put that fluke on real quick. Get off the branch. Get off the branch. Okay, well, I'm breaking that because I'm not ruining this bed. All right, guys. Back at it. Okay, so I sped this footage up just to kind of illustrate how long it can take and how many casts it can take to catch these fish. Oftentimes you've got to cast over and over again and switch up baits and you know show them different presentations to get them to hit. And that's if you if they even hit at all. Oftentimes these fish will not hit and you've got to move on to the next fish. Um, so yeah, I just want to kind of illustrate that. A lot of this footage has been cut down just to save time. Also, there's a pretty cool moment here while I'm catching this fish, a baby deer falls on the bank and takes off running. And I get a little, a little too excited and yell out something that I hope I never yell again. Uh, and I apologize for that, but thanks for watching. Oh my God. Oh, baby deer, <laughs> as I'm catching a giant fish. <laughs> oh, oh my God, don't you dare. Please don't you come off. Please don't you come off. <sighs> what a fish. What a fish. <laughs> Let's let her go. That took forever. We got another fish here right in front of me. Another bed. Right next to the one that I just caught. I just scared it. It's over here to my left. I did, I got my uh, flute caught on this tree. Over here. Oh my God. God. Bless him, get in the net. Oh my God. This is unfreaking believable, dude. I don't know. I don't. Th I think it's maybe 18, 19. Definitely had her stuck pretty good. I guess we can measure her. She ain't gonna be no 20. She'd be 18, no doubt. Yeah, 18 on the button, dude. 18 and a quarter. You. All right, guys. Figured I'd give you a little update here. <clears throat> I am just uh, paddling down through some of this faster moving water. I'm not really seeing anything through here that looks bed worthy and I, we're running out of time. So I really want to get down here to the very, we're close to the very end of the takeout here. And uh, there's some spots that I remember held some big fish last year when we came here. So that's where I'm trying to go before we run out of daylight. So stick with me, stay tuned. Let's see if we can catch a few more giants before we have to leave. Okay guys, I'm not sure if you remember, but this is the area last year where some very big fish were caught. This is the area where I caught two giant smallmouths and two casts. It's a big fish over there. Oh. No. Well, now she's really mad, at least we know that. Oh my God, that's a big fish. She's just trying to kill it. She's just trying to attack it. I just hooked her. I just hooked her and I didn't know she had it. I thought she kicked it. I can't see. Is there more than one fish attacking this, or protecting this bed? I honestly, it, feel, it looks like there's more than one fish over there protecting this one bit. I almost swung on her again. Oh, I just, oh my God. She's just 
smoking it, dude. She just will not engulf it fully. Oh my God, dude. I just got snapped off. Oh, after all that, I just got snapped off. All right, guys, let's try this again. No, I'm not. I've got a backlash. The hook is sharp, just in case you guys were wondering. And yes, it does pierce human flesh quite easily. The more you know. I guess I'm just gonna swim it back, just like I did before. Oh, oh yeah, he attacked it. He doesn't have it though. Does he have it now? Got him. Got him this time. Got him this time. I got him this time. Oh my gosh. Nope, you stay out of my anchor rope. You stay out of my anchor rope. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Get out of my anchor. Get out of my freaking anchor. Come on. Come on. Get out of my net. Oh. Been battling out with you for way too long. It ain't no 20, but man, she is beat up. <laughs> And here it goes. Here we go. And there we go, baby. 19 and 3 quarter. What a fish. What a fish. Let's let her go. That took a while for that fish. All right, guys. Pretty good day, if you ask me. I caught the biggest smallmouth of my life and a bunch of other giant smallmouth that a lot of people don't even get to catch in their lifetime. So fantastic day and I appreciate you guys tuning in and I think we'll just end it right here with this view check it out the mighty Mississippi the good thing is that this is only day two we still got two more good days of fishing in front of us so stay tuned thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one